Swilling, handoff, Marcus Allen inside the 10, inside the 5, trying to fight for the goal line, and he pushes his way in. Give the scope, big hole, inside the 10, inside the 5, touchdown. Handoff, Marshall, yardage, 30, cuts out to the left side, breaks the tackle, 40, 45, two men to beat, he won't do that. So what do you think the toughest thing about the V-back position is? Um, I'd say the toughest thing is just um, the detailed position, especially like with the blocking, you know, knowing who you got and, and how to block them is probably the toughest thing or the thing I struggle with the most. Toughest thing about the B-back position, uh, I would say just getting a feel for the plays. Understanding it's not what you do on the play, but actually getting a feel for it and executing your job on a play because it's kind of a lot of reads, making a lot of reads based on the defensive linemen. The toughest part really is just the, the beating you take every play by like defensive linemen and linebackers. It's really just a, a physical strain on your body. Hand off, Marshall, big hole, up the middle, 30, there he goes, 10, 5, touchdown! Welcome to Georgia Tech, to the true freshman Marcus Marshall. What was the biggest difference that you noticed from the high school game into stepping into that college atmosphere? Um, the actual game atmosphere itself, um, obviously it's a lot louder, you know, it's a lot more exciting. Um, but just the, the actual game of football, I just say that it's a lot more detailed on this level. You're just a true freshman in this offense. Who, who are a couple guys that you've been leaning on? Patrick Scove and, and even Marcus Allen in some cases. Marcus is a real quiet guy, but Patrick's somebody I can always go to and ask questions if I need help with anything. What's really ironic, I think, about um, the relationship we've kind of developed as teammates is how we're both new to the position. I think that's pretty unique. I have a lot of experience behind me in terms of just playing four years of collegiate football. In this particular offense, I am still learning. So I've been able to kind of, I think, help Marcus learn the things I do know about the offense, but kind of build off of each other in terms of like bouncing bouncing ideas off of each other and just kind of helping him learn. Well, let's take the B-back dive play from right coming out of the, when you know that that play is coming until the play is over, what's going on in your mind? What are you looking at? Uh, so first thing is looking at the defensive front, who the read, I'm looking at the read key for the quarterback and looking inside of that and just looking at um, who the quarterback's read key is and then who my read key is and playing off of that from there once the ball snap. I know that having, it's not harder for the other two guys to answer this because it's their first year playing B-back, but having been in this system now, what do you think the biggest misconception is about the B-back spot? Is that we're just, you know, just a, just a decoy. I think we're more, you know, a more valuable piece to the offense. Like, without us, the, the offense isn't running, so. It's been an interesting ride for you, hasn't it? You came here as a B-back. You've seen two different positions, both sides of the ball since then, so. What's this ride been like? I mean, it's been it's been pretty eventful. You know, I came in as a B-back. I moved to linebacker for a year. I, I dabbled at receiver in the spring for a little bit, and then I moved back to B-back in the spring. So, it, I mean, it's been a, been a learning experience. When the coaches told you you were going back to B-back, how did you feel about that? Uh, I kind of like anticipated it just because I knew we were, we were a little short of that position during the time, at the time. But, you know, I was, I was a little excited about this time because I knew more about the offense. I knew more about defense from my, from my year at linebacker. So I, I felt more confident, definitely. We all do things differently and we all have our, uh, our strengths and weaknesses. So I think we work well with each other and stuff. I think Coach Johnson kind of has a luxury with us three B-backs because he can just, I feel like any, any of the three of us could start any game at, at any time. I think that's kind of a key to a, an effective team, being able to Get along well allows us to kind of feed off of each other and execute in a game plan. Let's have a good day, fellas. Get a break. Break them down, Scoble. All right, let's go. Be back on three, one, two, three. Be back. Be back.